All right, back in the Sinister Custom Laboratory here in Northwest Florida. Alex, his square back is coming along quite nicely. One of the things that I really like to do when I do some polishing work on these vehicles is to take and polish them up. And, and is it perfect mirror polish? No, it's not. It's gonna give it just the appearance that I'm looking for based on the color that I've chosen for this car. But I will take this Tamiya 87206. I can't remember the specific, I cut it off up here, but this is a super, super narrow tape. You can see how obviously how narrow the tape is, but what I like to do is do a polish on the body. This had a, uh, a nice body, body line of chrome right through here. And what I did is I ended up taping this off here, getting it cut. And then I also took my X-Acto knife, cut my door spacings in there because that paint's just going to barely get through there and it should cover that chrome up just a bit. Then I also took the, uh, the front bumper area as well. Uh, and got that set up as far as getting it covered so that I have the the high chrome because the base on this car has got a pretty high chrome as well. Um, and so what I'm looking at basically doing here is taking and, uh, you know, I'll be taping off these front and back bumper areas and most likely painting this base. Um, you know, I hadn't decided yet. I may go matte black. Um, I'm not sure yet exactly what color I'm going to go with based on the color that I've chosen for this car. But I had thought about doing some... What's great about this tape is it's so flexible and you can make all kinds of great designs with this tape. And I thought about taking and, and giving this kind of an 80s flair. Um, but then kind of thought twice and I said, you know what? I kind of want this to be a, a really just a cool painted painted car without any type of additional lines because I thought about doing some work on this on this panel where the you know in some of the some of the vehicles they've got some <clears throat> some glass that's in there with some dividers and I thought about cutting a section out but uh, I've decided against that so based on the color because what I'm going to do is a combination of a couple of things and I'll show you um, now this isn't the color uh, selections that I've made but I've taken this Chevy pickup that we also had in the same uh, the same mix. This one here I took with a metal cast green, and so it gave it a really nice spectra flame color. Now what I did with it on top of that is I took the metal cast yellow to kind of give it a kind of a lime appearance to this, um, and I'm not as pleased with the, the outcome as I thought I would be, but once we gloss this, it's gonna look really good because basically I'm gonna take uh, the decal that I picked up from Second Chance Red Lines, and it's gonna have the white and yellow flame that's gonna run right across the bottom edge of this truck. So I'm really looking forward to then getting a high gloss on it, and this color should blend really well because I've already got the real riders ready for it and that's what it's going to be right there so <clears throat> with this green wheel stripe that's going to look really good um, in a fairly close color match as far as these tires go um, see if i can kind of hold it steady there i was kind of shaking it around but it's uh it's a pretty good color mix right there haven't decided if i'm gonna you know chrome any of this on the bottom most likely won't um but anyway we can't wait to do some details with it but it kind of gave it a, a kind of a kind of a matted appearance to it uh once we high gloss it again that's gonna stand out really good so uh anyway there is this guy, and now what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to take my first attempt. Alex is my first attempt at a Createx transparent color. I'm going to go with Caribbean blue here, and then I'm going to take the black chrome metal cast. It's actually from Rust-Oleum black chrome. I believe it's Rust-Oleum. And I'm going to hit that bottom edge with it to kind of give it a little two-tone color. So I'm anxious to see how this is going to turn out. But the first step we're going to do is to uh, make an attempt at our Createx airbrush action. And uh, I may do a little video on uh, me doing some application with that. Uh, see if I can get it set up out there. And we'll see how it goes. See y'all in a bit. What's going on? We're just carrying on with this build here. So I want to bring something to everyone's attention. 
thus the point of the breaking news and static and noise and all the carrying on. So, Alex, your fine Volkswagen is no longer going to be Createx Airbrush Colors Caribbean Blue. This transparent Caribbean Blue was what I was going to paint your square back. But I want to point something out to everybody. New into the airbrush hobby that I am, and I've been listening to uh, Paul over at uh, Diecast Graveyard. He does a great, great bunch of videos. And, and I've been asking him a lot of questions and getting ready to try something. So I bought this cheap little airbrush setup, and it talks about airbrush 0.5 millimeter tip. 40 to 50 PSI, and I'll tell you why, why that is so important. I've got a 0.5 millimeter tip, but I've only got 25 PSI pushing this paint. Didn't flow whatsoever. So, to the drawing board with the color, redirected, got this thing painted, it's looking sharp. We're gonna be having the reveal soon, but I wanted to just kind of cover this because I've been a rattle can um, up to this point pretty consistently with the metal cast paints and some of the glosses and, and all that kind of good stuff. And my first attempt at this, I should say second attempt, shout out Old Man Diecast because I did create my own Spectra Flame paints with the gloss and the uh, ink pens. And if you guys haven't seen that video, it's pretty impressive. Go check out Old Man Diecast. He's got a uh, pretty awesome setup to where you can make your own Spectra Flame colored paints. And it actually went through the little airbrush that I've got. But uh, this guy right here, nah. There's a reason why the directions are on these things. And um, yeah, I can't use it with mine. So. Now I can thin it. I've got to get a reducer to where I can reduce the, um, you know, the basically the thickness of this. And it says thin for smaller tip sizes and lower PSI settings. So I just got to get a thinner and, and break this down before I can use it, but uh, don't have any today. So anyway, just wanted to give you all a little update on that and uh, kind of a sneak peek at the bottom here of uh, Alex's car. Uh, we've got just a little bit of silver that I did on these exhaust pipes and this kind of this back end here just a little bit Kind of a little bit on this front end. I'm gonna do a little little copper hot wheels one of one right there I've got my uh, got my little sticker there in the corner and uh, Wasn't too pleased with <clears throat> uh, My plans were to kind of change direction completely on this and, and I may still once I get this car assembled I'm gonna take a look at everything to see how how this looks but basically based on the colors that I've picked and the interior changes that I've made we'll see how this turns out so anyway I'll let y'all in a bit and we'll see what we can find hey hey home skillets what's going on hope everybody is having a good morning finally got out here into my little quiet space along with all the 400 flies that showed up as soon as I opened this door so probably going to see some things flying around and in my face and I'll be swatting and stuff. I'm not <clears throat> having issues. Uh, I did talk to, finally, I got through on 1-800 off the rails. Uh, if you didn't see that last video, um, definitely check it out. If you got some, got some die cast issues, definitely give them a call. It, uh, it was a big help. Um, yeah, but, uh, but I'm not doing this just because I'm nuts. <laughs> I promise you there. So anyway, reveal time, reveal alert. Here it comes. I added a little something extra to uh, Alex's collection. Uh, he sent me the 69 square back. We've been covering on this uh, four hour video. And uh, so I'm gonna make this kind of short. I took the one love bug, the Valentine's Day, and I stripped the tampos, left the 2021 right there. And I'm trying to see if I can get that to zoom nicely. There it is. You can see it a little bit right there. Let me get my head out of the way. Two, uh, the 2021 and the Hot Wheels. There we go. Let's do it this way. There it is. Eh, you still can't really see it very good. That's awesome. Anyway, took all those tampos off of there. Took all the tampos off the, the hood and the sides and mudded that sucker up. Is it a four-wheel drive? No, it's not. It's a VW, and it's pretty close to the same color. I'm thinking I may be rebuilding one of these to, uh, even though it's not the same year. Uh, that uh, looks pretty good right there. Kind of like that uh, that color is really cool on this and i may still touch this with a little bit of clear effects gloss i haven't decided yet uh, this clear effects um, not really used it yet 
uh, but I get a little gold touch-ups. They're not perfect in any way. See Alex, they're not perfect. Did a little silver uh, interior work. You really can't see on there very good, but I did a little bit on the seats and the steering wheel. Yeah, you really can't see it. Nah, I don't have very good video quality here. I do everything on my phone and Anyway, I got light issues and all kinds of stuff, so I hadn't, hadn't even got to that point yet, but I really don't do any edits. But uh, anyway, mudded this bug up, took me a, a $1 bottle of, um, I think it's Burnt, burnt Umber, um, from the paints at Walmart that are 98 cents, and literally use a couple of drops and a sponge, and you can make all kinds of cool details with these cars, and uh, Gave it a nice little uh, skittered mud shape uh, with the exception of the windshield, so I failed to get that detail in there. Uh, but anyway, maybe they just washed the windshield so they could see where they're going. I'm going to leave it dirty. So here's the car that Alex sent me. Um, we'll refresh that really quick. This is the 69 square back that he sent me to, uh, to do the build on. And I'm um, going to do a little reveal of the car. But this one here, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to put it back in the blister. Um, but uh, what we came up with, if you saw earlier in the video, of course, I uh, hope you did. <laughs> you probably aren't watching it to this point. Caribbean blue, failure. Metal cast blue, gotcha. One of the key things with doing these cars, once you get the polish where you want it, sanded, polished, looking good, you really like it, got to, got to clean that car with a degreaser or a, you know, uh, I use acetone in this case to clean all the smudge and all the crud off of the car so that that paint sticks well. Here is the 69 square back with the surfboard in it. And um, this turned out really good. I, I, overall, it's got some issues. The gloss isn't perfect on the hood. I was irritated after I got everything kind of put together on this. I realized that had a little area here on this uh, passenger side of the hood that wasn't quite as glossed as the rest and it was kind of irritating because I'd already got the cool surfboard and the reason I've got uh, got the, uh, the surfboard sitting with the fin down is so I could get the moon eyes sticker on it wanted to get the moon eyes sticker I love the moon eyes um, had to put that in there kind of wedge that surfboard in there got a little uh, got a little glue holding it in place did a little uh, I screwed up the interior on this car and originally I was going to go with a gloss white messed it all up had to tweak it a little bit it almost has more of a fabric appearance now um, to where it um, it's got a little splash of blue in there uh, it, and it's actually more of a like a beach blue rather than this deeper blue color here on this uh, on this metal cast took the um, basically these wheels off of one of the fast wagons. Uh, I believe it was the 64 Nova. Um, got a little headlight detail, a little front uh, tampo detail, the VW mark on it there. And and what I also did uh, to kind of double this thing up, you can tell, let's see, it's got that blue, uh, that nice blue, uh, straight blue color on the top. Well, on the bottom, I took the black chrome and kind of splashed that bottom edge. And so it kind of got just a hair of a of a two-tone color but of course I taped off this uh, this strip here along the center you know the, uh, the center body line uh, so it's got a chrome strip that kind of matches the uh, the door handle touch-ups that I did on it too so uh, then on the back yes got to have a license plate in there uh, did the uh, rear tail lights as well uh, turn signals uh, backup lights um, so anyway, there, uh, there she is and, uh, rolls great. Uh, this car here will turn out really good. And then of course I did, uh, the bottom, not fond of the bottom, just to let you know, got a two tone. We got, uh, the black, then I've got the chrome here and here. Didn't do really any details with any of the underside other than just the copper hot wheels insignia and got my sticker on the bottom of it. Also, uh, one of one. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but, uh, anyway, there she is, Alex. Happy belated birthday. I hope you enjoy this car. I'm going to try to get back in the blister. We'll see how that goes. Um, shout at everybody soon. Thanks again, Alex, for uh, just being a cool dude out there. I hope you enjoy these cars, my friend. And, uh, and I'm going to send a couple of extras there you mentioned in that uh, video um, when you did the Herbie uh, fleet about the um, treasure hunt. So I'm going to throw in some of those. You can give that guy you know. So uh, anyway talk with y'all soon. Hope you like it. Oh man, I think she's pretty. I like that 69. It's pretty. Pretty. That's what we say down here in the South. 
holler at y'all soon. Be safe.